Firefighters responded to the blaze at about 5 o'clock yesterday evening. The business was closed at the time, and firefighters say it isn't known just what started the fire yet. The fire did cause $50,000 in damage, and officials say it is likely a total loss. Fox 11's Ben Crumholtz has more on the restaurant that many customers say will be sorely missed. For a place known for its regulars, the customers of Al's Hamburger Shop say the restaurant was anything but the usual. It was like a crazy museum of dinerness and stuff, and it had the atmosphere of humidity and onions. The thing about a place like Al's is, is, is it's kind of like Cheers, you know, everybody knows your name. This is a 1930 Model A. Al's has been open since 1934, so there's a bit of history there. Al's history had people stopping by the restaurant throughout the day on Sunday. Most of them saying Al's was anywhere from a monthly to a daily stop. Steve would always greet you the same way. How's she going today, guys? Everybody was more than friendly, uh, sharing sections of the newspaper across the counter. It's small, it's cozy, a lot of familiar faces, a lot of the same people every day that just come to drink coffee and socialize and eat good food. Now the future of those routine activities is up in the air. The wife of the owner of Al's tells Fox 11 her husband is still too shook up about the fire that destroyed the longtime restaurant. The nostalgia and the sentimental component uh, when you lose a business like Al's Hamburger, it hurts. When it comes to rebuilding, Al's customers say they have a few orders. It's got to be right here. It's got to have the window. It's got to have a stool inside of it. It's got to look just like that. You still got the sign that says eat. The sign that says eat is the most important thing. If you've got that sign, you can do anything. And until a decision is made on the future of Al's Hamburger Shop, its regular customers now have a tough decision of their own. Where to go for breakfast? I don't know. That's a good question. <laughs> In Green Bay, Ben Crumholz, Fox 11 News. Stephen Rank, the manager and son of owner George Rank, says uh, he has received various calls about potential options for the future of Al's Hamburger Shop. He says it is too early to elaborate on any plans.